Jobs growth in Singapore will slow to 2% or lower in the long term, due partly to the government's decision to tighten the inflow of foreign labour. Labour chief Lim Sui Se says the days of 4% jobs growth a year are no longer sustainable on the economic and social fronts. He also revealed that 90,000 to 100,000 jobs are expected to be created this year as he addressed service industry players this morning. Jumbo Group of Restaurants with about 800 local and foreign workers prides itself as a customer-centric outfit. As it shares its initiatives in staying competitive and raising productivity, it's also mindful of the possibility of tighter curbs on the inflow of foreign workers that could hurt sectors like food and beverage. We just have to uh, bite the bullet and uh, go along the, uh, the, the direction. And uh, I think so far we have been uh, coping quite well. I think uh, it is difficult. Very challenging, but I think uh, there is a solution. I think it needs a lot of uh, management willpower uh, to overcome this uh, problem. So we are getting uh, more and more local workers. Singapore's structural shift of the inflow of foreign workers is one reason why the growth of the workforce will slow down over the next few years, said Labour Chief Lim Sui Se. The other reason, he said, is a cyclical, linked to the uncertainties in the global economy. Our challenge will be in terms of making sure that this uh, slow, uh, slower growth in our workforce uh, does not turn into a higher structural unemployment, a uh, slower wage increase and a slower economic growth. So to the SMB out there, uh, my message to them is that instead of uh, 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 being uh, succumbed by this uh, uh, pressure of this uh, policy change, why don't uh, we work together? At the end of the day, those who are able to adapt faster, respond faster, they will be able to grow even better uh, in the new scenario. With the tightening of the foreign worker quotas, an important initiative which small and medium enterprises must embrace is improving their productivity levels. And this is where the customer-centric initiative and the various schemes embarked upon by the government come into play. The Labour chief encouraged SMEs to continue taking advantage of these schemes to improve their productivity. Jumbo Group of Companies is one such company singled out as a showcase of innovative schemes to improve productivity, service and staff welfare.